My name is Michael Otieno. I'm a resident of Kisumu County. And uh, I'm in business of paper production out of water, ice, and tweed and waste paper. I started this business in 2006 after getting basic skills on paper production at KIK. KIK stands for Kisumu Innovation Center Kenya, situated in Kibue. The project sustained me in my daily operation. That is my basic needs. A business which the 32-year-old from Kisumu has to start very early in the morning when Lake Victoria is still calm. First of all, the operation must start very early in the morning, around uh, 7 to 8, because I think normally got this migratory nature. Sometimes it, it gets blown away from the lake to other parts of the lake. But uh, in such incidences, we normally get the, the ones which are trapped at the shore. We call them residential hyacinth. So they, they also keep us going while the lake is clear. While other Kisumu residents focus on harvesting fish, <laughs> his focus is on the weed most fishermen see as a curse. Hyacinth is a major problem in the lake that is inhibiting navigation and also making, giving great losses to the country and to the fishing industry. So I saw the need of utilizing the hyacinth weed as a way of mitigating it because through paper production using hyacinth fiber is a sustainable way to mitigate the weed. And by sunrise, Otenu is ready to embark on another paper making day. Here people call him Paperman. Since the ascent is light in weight, so you can transport it even using a bicycle. We transport them to the spot where we do our operations, then cut them into smaller pieces. Then uh, using sulfuria, we just cook it. We add a little soda ash to soften the, the fiber. We cook it for three hours. Then uh, from there, we pulp it using the fabricated machines. So, during pulping, we mix a little bit waste paper, which is soaked. Then, uh, from there, we also add wooden glue. Then, using a wooden frame with a net attached to it, we sieve the suspension. Then, a thin layer of paper spreads on the net. Then, we just put it to dry under the sun. Depending on the intensity of the sun, the paper should dry between four to six hours and uh, when the paper is dry already you just peel it from the net then we use a machine called calendaring machine to press it to make it smoother and also easy to work on to write on to print on and also to get products from it as a young boy, Otenio missed school several times because his exercise book was filled up and his goal is to make sure that he can produce affordable exercise books using paper from a weed which is threatening this ecosystem. But he can only start distributing the books once he achieves this. I'm looking forward to source for capital, then uh, get the right machines, more technical machines, that is, to produce the paper and also to increase the quality of the paper. Judy Kosge, Citizen TV, your story.